Last night, CNN aired an hour-long infomercial for Mike Pence's new book so that they could use him to throw dirt on Donald Trump and talk about their favorite subject, January 6th. Well, it's great to be here at CNN, Jake. Thank you. It really is. In the end, our administration did not end well. Uh, and I write about that in my book. You know, as I write in my book, let me say, as I said in my book, you know, when I sat down to write my book, frankly, as you read in my book, and in my book, I write about lessons learned in my life, which inspired the title of my book. It's actually in the back of my book. And I appreciate the question. And I appreciate you reading my book. <laughs> I mean, in my book, I talk about why I'm grateful for the opportunity to be on CNN today. And so my hope is to those people that might still wonder why we did what we did, um, I hope that they'll read this book. Aside from asking him over and over his thoughts on January 6th, they also, of course, asked him if he would endorse Donald Trump for his 2024 election bid. And like a true politician, he gave a non-answer trying to weasel out of the question. If Donald Trump were to run and win the nomination, would you support him as the nominee? Well, let me say uh, there, there may be somebody else in that contest I'd prefer more, Jack. Mm -hmm. Anyone um, in mind? <laughs> Can you imagine partnering up with a propaganda network like CNN that called you and your supporters Nazis every day, 24-7 for four years, and then sitting down with them like your old friends? Well, it's great to be here at CNN, Jake. Thank you. It really is. The only reason they go on CNN is to expose to what viewers they have left the lies that they spew nonstop, like when Stephen Miller sat down face-to-face -face with Jake Tapeworm. In the toxic environment that you've created here in CNN and cable news, which is a real crisis of legitimacy for your network, and we saw it, of course, with the extremely fake news you reported about the Don Jr. and WikiLeaks story. There was a huge embarrassment for your network. Stephen. Just like the huge embarrassment you had when you got the Comey testimony wrong. Stephen, I'm trying to get to the issue of the president's the fitness, which a lot of people well, are and I'm getting to the issue of your no, fitness. You're... Or when Sebastian Gorka pointed out that their ratings are so pathetic that the Cartoon Network has more viewers than them. The amount of time you spend in desperation on a topic that has plummeted you to 13th place in viewership ranking across America. I mean, more people watch Nick at Night cartoons than CNN today. If Mike Pence actually runs for president, and that's what the media is obviously encouraging him to do because they want to see him try to take Trump down, and by some miracle granted by the electronic voting machine gods, he actually wins the Republican nomination, the liberal media will turn on him the very next moment. Things are going to get crazy by next May or June when other Republicans step up and try to challenge President Trump for the nomination. And I don't mean fringe characters like Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger. It could very well be Mike Pence, and obviously they're also trying to recruit Ron DeSantis. This from CNN, the simple reason why Ron DeSantis should run for president in 2024. It's way too early to be talking about the 2024 presidential election, in my opinion, especially since the midterms were just over a week ago. And I don't even think they've issued the final tally for Lauren Boebert's race, but it's looking really good for her. But we did thankfully win the majority in the House of Representatives that was made official yesterday, which means that Nasty Pelosi has been demoted from Speaker of the House to an ordinary crypt keeper. I mean, Congresswoman. This also means that Republicans head up all of the committees in Congress and can form new committees and can issue subpoenas and haul the communists in for questioning. So next year, we're going to have to launch an outreach campaign in order to encourage our representatives to do the right thing. And that doesn't mean tweeting at them or posting on their Facebook page. It means doing things the old fashioned way and ringing the phone in their office off the hook. And that includes Kevin McCarthy, who was just nominated to be the potential next Speaker of the House, a rhino swamp creature who threw President Trump under the bus after the January 6th mostly peaceful protest. And then when that didn't go over very well because the base and at that time, most Republicans still stuck with him except for, you know, with a handful, five or eight of them in the House that voted for impeachment the second time. Then he quickly moved on and hoped that everybody forgot that he did that. The president bears responsibility for Wednesday's attack on Congress by mob rioters. He should have immediately denounced the mob when he saw what was unfolding. These facts require immediate action by President Trump. And the president's immediate action also deserves congressional action, which is why I think a fact-finding commission and a censure resolution would be prudent. He also refused to endorse President Trump's 2024 campaign yesterday because 
he sees and is hoping for a political civil war within the Republican Party. At this point, actually, only a small handful of congresspeople have. Marjorie Taylor Greene, Matt Gates, Elise Stefanik, and I think just a few more. But if it makes you feel any better, I don't think there's a single Democrat who has endorsed Joe Biden for 2024 either. Do you hope that President Biden will run again in 2024? You know, I... 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 I will have to see. <laughs> oh, we're gonna see, all right. We're gonna see a disaster. Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez laughed when she was asked if she would endorse old Joe running again. President Biden, he is saying he's gonna run again in 2024. Will you support him? Um, you know, should he run again? I think that I, you know, I think it's, it's we'll take a look at it. <laughs> okay. We'll take a look at it, she says no. We'll be taking a look at old Joe being hauled off to the dementia clinic. If the president has a vision, then that's something certainly we're all willing to entertain and examine when the, when the time comes. That's not a yes. Not even his current vice president, Kamala Harris, the obvious affirmative action hire, can say with a straight face that her and old Joe are going to be on the ticket again in 2024. So she's dodging those questions, too. Are we going to, uh, to see the same Democratic ticket in 2024? I'm sorry, we are thinking about today. I mean, honestly, that I, I, I know why you're asking the question because... Uh, he's doing this because obviously old Joe is too old and he already hid in his basement for an entire campaign once and you can't play that game again. But with Donald Trump officially running in 2024 and Christmas just around the corner, now is the time to order your Trump 2024 shirt from my online store at markdice.com or click the link in the description below and pick up an Ultra Maga shirt, an F Joe Biden shirt, an Arrest Dr. Fauci shirt, or any of my awesome designs, all available to a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check them out. <laughs>